This is uh, Sonnet 62. So we're going to go through the five stages, rhyming couplet, the last words, break it into sections, mark the breaths, and then mark this as yours. Tis thee myself that for myself I praise, painting my age with beauty of thy days. Tis thee myself that for myself I praise, painting my age with beauty of thy days. So something to do with painting my age with the beauty of thy days. So maybe it's something to do with like age and time, but you give beauty to my aging self. Okay, last words. I part remedy heart. I part remedy heart. So uh, what I see will fix my heart, something like this. Mine account define surmount. Surmount will overcome, something will overcome. Indeed, antiquity, I read iniquity. So antiquity, I don't know, getting old. Um, iniquity, my problems. So something to do with um, overcoming my issues. Okay, and then praise and days. So it seems like it's an age-based poem and how love and union with someone can help you fix your <laughs> age anxieties. The three quatrains of the rhyming couplet, the three groups of four, and then the rhyming couplet. So it's after heart, surmount, iniquity. Okay, next stage, we'll mark the breaths. So we're going to mark the start and the end, because we're always going to breathe before we begin. And we're not going to stop breathing just because we've finished. We're going to breathe back in again. The next of the breaths is we mark the sentence ending, which is full stop, exclamation mark, and question mark. So at the end of the first quatrain, we've got heart. At the end of the second one we've got surmount. It's got the, it's got the, um, the end of the, um, ah, at the end of the third quarter we have a colon, not, not a sentence ending. So we won't mark the breath straight away. Are there any more sentence endings within the, within the quatrains? No, not as far as I can see. Okay, um, so and there are no other full stops, exclamation marks, question marks within the third quatrain. So let's assume it, there is going to be a breath after iniquity, which is the last line of the third quatrain. So an even sonnet, you'll get um, a breath every other line. So what have we got? After part, we've actually got a semicolon, which is a good suggestion that we're going to breathe. And after um, the second line in the second quatrain, a count. We've got a comma, so let's just assume we're going to breathe here. Because what we're doing is going through the sonnet technically before we actually read it. So, and then what else do we have in the third? Okay, well, we've got a hyphen after the third line in the third quatrain after read, which is unusual to find a hyphen in Shakespeare. It's probably been added by a later, um, you know, it's a later edition, I would imagine. Okay. Let me just see, but when my glass shows my, me myself indeed, beaten and chopped with tanned antiquity, mine own self-love, quite contrary, I read. Self so self-loving, we're iniquity. It might well be that we take a breath after antiquity and the read hyphen is a bit like it's going into uh, speech. So I'm going to take an extra breath here, again, radical. I did this recently on a sonnet, you know, I'll break the laws if the truth is hidden within the breaking okay so I've got the breath smart the next thing will be um, this is yours which is the the break within the line so each line is made of two halves to be or not to be that is the question uh -huh. shall I compare thee to a summer's day so sin of self-love possesseth all mine eyes so after self-love and I put a little V for that. And all my soul and all my every part. We've got a comma at soul and that is where this azure is. Um, and for this sin, this azure, there is no remedy. It is so grounded inward in my heart. Methinks no face so gracious is as mine. Methinks no face so... Ah, it's about um, sin of self-love. Well, that's the... So it's about narcissism. No shape so true, no truth of such account. And for myself, mine own worths do define. 
and for myself, my own worth do define. After myself, as I all other, in all worths amount, as I all other, in all worths, as I am better than everyone else. But when my glass shows me myself indeed, beated and chopped, with beated and chopped with tanned iniquity, it's almost like it could be at beated, beated and chopped with tanned iniquity. Beated and chopped with tanned iniquity, but I think better after chopped. My own self-love, quite contrary I read. My own self-love, this is your quite contrary I read. Self, so self-loving, what iniquity. Self, so self-loving, what iniquity. Me loving myself were a sin. Tis thee, myself, tis thee, myself, that for myself I praise. After myself, painting my old, painting my age with beauty of thy days. So, maybe he's saying that punchline, I only praise myself because I painted my days with your beauty. So his self-loving is only coming because it's, he loves you. Sin of self-love possesseth all mine eye, and my soul, and all my every part. So, um, I'm completely in love with myself. And for this sin, there is no remedy. It is so grounded inward in my heart, and I can't stop it. I'm just really into myself. Methinks no face so gracious as is mine, no shape so true, no truth of such account. I'm just the best. So, we've started off with saying, I'm a narcissist and I'm really a narcissist. So the second quatrain is exaggerating the first. And for myself, my own worth do define, as I and all other, in all worths amount. And I just really am the best thing in the world. But when my glass shows me myself indeed, so the third quatrain is getting into, ah, but here's the problem. And when my glass, my mirror, shows me myself indeed, baited and chopped with tanned antiquity. But when I look at myself in the mirror and I see what a freaky wreck I am, my own self-love, quite contrary, my own narcissism, it's not so great. So self-loving, what iniquity. And I realised that this thing about me being in love with myself were actually a bit of a problem. Tis thee, myself, that for myself I praise shield against the wind, painting my age with beauty of thy days. So tis thee myself, tis thee myself, that for myself I praise, painting my age with the beauty of thy days. It, I'm not 100% clear on this, but I'm assuming that it's, is it saying tis thee me, that I myself paint, it's got to be tis thee you, and you are me because we are one, because we are together, that I am praising. And I paint my age, my, my, my elderliness is given a makeover because you're so fantastic. The dangers of narcissism and how you can take on a new narcissism when you're in love with someone. Sin of self-love possesseth all mine eye and all my soul and all my every part. And for this sin there is no remedy, it is so grounded inward in my heart. Methinks no face so gracious is as mine, no shape so true, no truth of such account. And for myself, mine own worth do define, as I all other in all worth surmount. But when my glass shows me myself indeed, beated and chopped with tanned iniquity, antiquity, mine own self-love quite contrary I read. Self so self-loving were iniquity. It is thee myself that for myself I praise, painting my age with the beauty of thy days. So, again, an apt sort of sonnet to have, a sonnet about uh, narcissism in these very narcissistic days in which we're living.